Good morning. Happy Monday. I just got back from my workout class. Uh, it was so intense. Like, I was sweating like crazy in there. But it was so good. I'm so happy I started my week off with that workout class because I'm. it's just going to keep motivating me to keep going for the rest of the week. So now I just got home. Um, it's really sunny right now, but it's also raining in Miami. So... I don't know what kind of day it's gonna be because like usually when it's raining I don't really want to leave the house but I have some properties to go look at um, I have to move I'm moving so um, I'm looking for a place for myself and you know I'm a realtor now so I can basically um, find a place for myself easily and also take part of my own transaction get paid for it all that so I'm just gonna look for my place this week. I just I'm um, gonna go upstairs now, eat and start my day basically. So we're gonna do this weekly vlog. I'm trying to commit, you guys. I'm trying to get back on YouTube. So um, don't be scared to like ask me where the videos at. I'm gonna try my best to do weekly vlogs because like it's really hard for me to kind of like oops see it's like raining it's sunny but it's raining but anyways um it's really kind of hard for me to like upload every day so i'm just gonna start off weekly and go from there so i'll be taking you guys throughout my week and what i do this week i have it's like gonna be a lot of fun so it's gonna be a really interesting vlog so you guys stay tuned and yeah all right y'all so i'm making my breakfast now um excuse the bad lighting but the, we're just working with it we're gonna just work with it so i'm making my coffee i use this nescafe instant coffee and then for my creamer i use this coffee meat and this is the cinnamon roll ship um flavor it's zero sugar and then this is my favorite part <laughs> When I pour my creamer, because I frothed it up, like, so when I pour my creamer in here, it's like my favorite part. It's so, like, so good. This is like something I look forward to doing every day. So yeah, that's my coffee. I'm just gonna stir it up now. I might need a bigger, longer spoon, but whatever I'm gonna need a, another spoon okay there we go and then over here I'm about to make me an uh, egg sandwich I'm gonna show you guys in a second let me get my coffee Okay, so no, wait. So I'm making a uh, egg sandwich. I'm using these bagel thins. Love those. I'm using this um, vegan plant protein sausage patty. I love those. Get got some cheese and of course the egg. So I'll show you guys how I'm making it. Okay, so I'm gonna put some spices on there. Got chili powder, salt and pepper, and some adobe. This is what I use for my fried egg. So I'm just putting some of that. You guys can't see me. I'm just throw some. And then put some chili powder. And then I put some pepper. I don't put salt because the adobe, adobo or whatever, this has salt in it. So my fried egg is frying. You see, it wasn't, it's kind of round, but it's not that round. Here go my breakfast sandwich. There go my coffee, and I'm gonna eat some watermelon. So now this is really quick, but it looks really good. I'm super excited to eat it. Hey y'all, so I'm back. I basically had a really boring day after I got back from the gym. I just like did a lot of work from home. Tonight, I'm just gonna do like a little face mask. So I just wanted to film it. Today, I'm gonna be using my Fenty Skin 
face mask. It's the cookies and clean one. I really like this. Um, I don't, I'm, I've been trying to incorporate a lot more self care into my weekly routines. And I've been breaking out a lot. Like, I don't know if you guys saw this morning, like my face, my skin looked so bad. So I'm just gonna be applying like my cookies and clean, <laughs> cookies and clean face mask and leaving it on. So yeah, um, I've been thinking about getting my license in Texas because I have a lot of like clients that are talking about investing into Texas. And I mean, Miami is a great market, but I can also um, make the money out in Texas if I have, well, which I do have clients. So they're all telling me like, Jahari, you have to get your your license in Texas because we're about to like make, make some big moves out there and we want you part of it. So I'm like, okay, you know, but honestly, the exam for Texas is three times the hours than the Florida exam. And just to be honest, like I did the exam for my Florida license in one week. And then I did the, um, I passed the first time when I finished the course, but then after that, I took two weeks and then I took the state exam and I passed the first time again. So I don't know how likely that is to happen for me in this Texas exam. So like the course for the Florida exam is 63 hours. So I could do it in like one week, but there's no way that I'm gonna be able to do the Texas one in one week because it's 180 hours. And I mean, I am running businesses so it's not gonna work for one week so i can't really rush the process uh, i mean at the most it probably was to, like the shortest time that i can probably get it done is probably in like a month but um i'm just kind of kind of like prioritize miami right now because that's where i'm living right now but um, I also have an investor that I'm working with right now on a deal, so that's why tomorrow I'm gonna go and do a walkthrough. He's gonna, I'm gonna do a showing with him on Saturday, but as of right now, I kind of want to like be ahead of um, everything and just kind of go check out the property before he goes before he comes in town because when he comes in town i want us to be able to like put in an offer so that's what's going on i did not look for a place for myself i need to start looking for an apartment for myself because like i really need to move and i don't even want to move and the reason why i have to move is a really really long story but I'll see that story time for after I move out of this spot because I don't want no problems. So anyways, I'm gonna just let my face mask sit for like 10 minutes, I guess. And then, yeah, I'm just chilling now. Honestly, I'm gonna get my clothes ready for tomorrow morning because I have to wake up super, super early. Oh, I really don't know if this is, even works. I feel like I used it like a couple times, but I mean, it probably did make a difference. That's why I didn't return it because I had this, like, I don't even remember how long I had this, but Fenty Skin is what I got. Actually, I actually need to buy some more skincare products because I have this Lancome cream and it's it's empty. I, I can't even get anything else out of that. And then I have my Tatcha cream too, and it's completely empty. So I literally am like on my skincare all the time. It's just that, I don't know. I think I'm gonna try doing, um, probably get another one of these. I really, really love this brand. This is like one of my favorite, favorite brands. So yeah, um, I know I have like some lip product here somewhere. Let me just use my YSL lip balm. 
because honey lips are kind of chat. But yeah, just gonna um choose my outfit tomorrow for tomorrow and I'll show you guys that. Okay, y'all, so this is the dress I'm gonna wear tomorrow. It needs to be ironed. And then I'm gonna just wear these little hoop earrings with my little jewelry and then with that purse. I don't know what shoes I'm gonna wear as yet, but I'm thinking clear heels because that's just like the best thing to wear. Or I might wear some flats. It depends, but this is the outfit. So I'm gonna go and iron this and then basically call it a night and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. Toodles. Eight hours later. Go, go ahead, it's your time, baby. It's your time, baby. Get my baby. That's the difference when you're my baby. That's how it is when you. Nobody make me stop the world. Feel my blood passion. Feel what you ask for. So tell me if you want action. Until the lights back on I got the one we could last long And I didn't never know how to jump Feel like what I'm waiting for like long I pull up in my fashion Every night that in any way We can go ahead and dress it out And chill up in my villa to get out the whole night Just get in the drop top, take the head out And cruise with your head outside Go, go ahead, it's your time, baby It's your time, baby Get by, baby that's the difference when you're my baby That's how it is when you Nobody make me stop the world Hey y'all So I'm ready I'm Trying to put in the address for the house I'm going to And then Um we're gonna just go check out the house. It's gonna take me 41 minutes to get there, so I have some ways to go. So let me tell you guys a little bit about the house. Um, it is an investor that I'm working with. He has um, multiple investment properties and he wants to have one here in Miami that he can fix and flip and resell within probably 90 days. So I'm helping him find the property um, and he's coming on Saturday to come view the property himself. But I kind of wanted to go over there before he gets here and get a video so he can already start thinking about what he wants to do and the options he has for it because i don't want to wait till saturday and then he's thinking about all that because i want him to already be kind of like okay i'm already kind of set on this property um the property is in a really good area it's in coral gables so coral gables is um a really affluent area um it has a lot of great um, attractions there the University of Miami is there um, it's a it's really nice it's kind of close it's super close to like Brickell and um, the US 1 highway so um, and it's a really hot area like the houses in that area <coughs> excuse me the houses in that area have been selling really quickly like I went to an open house the other day um maybe a couple weeks ago and um the open house was canceled because that house had a cash offer that was way above the asking price and it was in coral gables you know so um coral gables is a hot market um i literally this is like literally like what the only listing that's in his budget so um I'm just trying to hop on it. I don't want to lose the opportunity because I know that other people are probably looking at the um, other investors are probably checking it out too. So yeah, like I kind of want to go over there, do the um, videos, send it over to him, 
let him think about what he wants to do with it so on saturday it's either we're gonna put in an offer or not you know i don't want to wait because if we wait then somebody else can already put in an offer and i don't want that to happen and like i just started real estate i just started um doing this so a couple months ago so this would if i do get this deal this would be my first house that i sell and i mean i really want to document my journey because i really feel like it would be inspiring to me and other people like even when i get demotivated um i can look back at these videos and be like oh my god like you know look at that how i did that you know so i don't want to like regret like doing this like this is just really just me this is my life i'm a real estate agent i'm trying to build an empire okay like this is what it's all about like doing the work and working hard like i actually really do enjoy real estate um it's really uh exciting and it's really like ex like i i feel like i love miami so much i'm so excited like I, I get so excited to find like to find different like areas and like all those things like it's it's like i get bored really fast so like it's kind of like an adventurous career to me so i don't really get bored about it um sometimes it is a little bit demotivating but i mean i just started so i try to like kind of be easy on myself because i've been in the, in the business less than a year like let's be real okay so um I don't I have high expectations for myself of course I want to be like a real estate mogul um, but it's it's gonna take me some ways to get there but I mean it all starts with one deal right like that's what I want to do I want to get in there and just you know do my thing so I'm gonna go inside I'm gonna get through the side door. Oof. I hope I just do it and not lock on me. Okay. So this is the entrance. Living room. Fireplace. Dining room. Kitchen. Washer dryer kitchen huh. and then we have the first bedroom here I'll try to show you guys and then another bedroom here And then the bathroom and then another bedroom here. So this is a three bedroom, one bathroom house. I'm gonna show you guys the backyard. This is the back. This is what a fixer upper looks like. But yeah, this is the back. And then. Go back to the front. So this is a house that's on the street as well. It's really nice. Um, gonna go up to it. um it looks really nice on the inside this is landscaping doesn't look like anyone's living in there and looks like they have a back or oh, that's another house so it's no separation i'm just checking it out and then it has a veranda and everything I need to find out who lives here. Cause this is a really nice spot.
Yeah. This house is empty. I'm trying to see inside. The inside looks nice. So th this is like probably like the type of house that we would want to build it into. Let's see. That's a nice house. There are storks in the neighborhood. Look at that. <laughs> okay guys, I found this place that matches my outfit, this house. So I decided to come take pictures here after I took, checked out that other house. So <laughs> you guys will probably see it on my Instagram. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and subscribe to my channel. Guys, I hope I got the, <laughs> I hope I got good pictures because honestly, I'm really bad at taking pictures, especially when I don't have someone helping me because like my facial expressions go crazy, honestly. But um, yeah, right now I just finished. so it's Wednesday today on the agenda for today I am on my way to get some food I've been craving this Cuban sandwich it's not a Cuban sandwich it's called a churrasco sandwich it's like this Cuban type of sandwich whatever um, and I'm gonna go get it it's so annoying because I tried to do an order online but then i was driving so i wasn't trying to like be on my phone while i'm driving so i called the place and then you know in miami it just amazes me how people who come here um so many people who live here don't speak english and it's like this is america like we do you do need the official language is english so if you do live here and you're coming from another country it would be like it would make sense that you would try to learn english right because like i can't go to like i can't go to colombia and expect everyone to speak english like i would have to learn the native tongue right so you know it just kind of gets really like frustrating when i'm like calling a business um to place an order and then like the person who answers the phone can't even speak english and then she has to scramble on the phone so that you know she can find someone who can speak to me but i mean i'm not trying to bash the place or anything because this is like a general thing in miami so i'm gonna just go and get the food anyways i'm driving so far to go get it and it's like the middle of the day Anyways, you know the craving is real when you're driving far in traffic to go get some food. But anyway, so after that, I'm going to go get my hair done. I need to get my hair washed. Um, I don't really get, my, I don't really wash my own hair. Well, I, I don't mind washing it myself, but the part that's really hard for me is the blow drying and the um, flat ironing because I have tape -ins. Like, I have done it before, but it doesn't come out, out as sleek as it would if um, I got it done at the salon. All right, y'all. This is the sandwich. It didn't come as I thought it was going to come. I thought it was going to come with fries and everything. Like, this is like $14 and not worth it. Um, and then I got my Diet Coke. Got my Diet Coke and my Churrasco sandwich. It's going to be good, but too expensive for what it was. Okay, y'all, I got my hair done. I swear to God, this hairstyle is amazing. So I usually get my side part i usually get a middle part but this time around i got a side part i just feel like switching it up a little bit so i got this ah 
guys, my my face, my skin is so such in bad condition. So please ignore the state of my skin. Um, I don't wear makeup every day, so I do have to start like figuring out what am I gonna do with my skin. Good morning. It's Thursday. I'm late again for my class. <laughs> um, going. I I had a class this morning. I canceled, and now I'm rebooked another one so I'm trying to get the workout in today it's serious so i'm about to be late though i'm stuck at the red light to turn into the uh to my gym and yeah it's Truffle inside your rice here. 